Welcome back. You're watching the Paddy Power Battle of the Mags Poker Shootout. This is a winner-takes-all affair. We started with seven players. We've got six left. Uh, we're going to have one winner and six losers. They're not losers, actually. They will be a field of online qualifiers to be here through competitions run by various poker magazines. If you want to know which magazine each player is playing for, just stare at their left breast. John's picked up an ace-king on the button. Nice place to have it. Now, Christoph's a little bit short-stacked, so he may move his chips here. Knows that John's going to be raising on the button with a wide variety of hands. Is this the moment, Christoph? Tough one for him. He knows that he's probably going to be racing because, yeah, he does move in. Instantly called by John with a big ace king. Classic race situation here. Christos going to be relieved. Yep, he's pleased with that. He's actually slightly ahead and he needed to make a stand at some point. Will the pair of fours hold up? Seven, five, eight. So far, so good for Christoph. He could be back in this thing. Oh, makes the straight. And he's given himself a round of applause. <laughs> John's trying to find a way he's won. They need to keep dealing cards, John. They're not going to do that. Five in the middle only. Christoph makes a stand at the right time and doubles up through uh, John Donnelly. Eight. Yeah. <laughs> Nine. Oh, sure. Christoph did well there. Tough to put all your chips in the middle with just a pair of fours, but uh, blinds are going up fast and he couldn't afford to sit around. And uh, he's now in with a real chance of winning this. Thank you. John Donnelly not being able to hang on to all of the chips he gave to John Duffy, but of course he's not going to do anything else but play with his ace-king there. Blinds of 500 and 1,000. Tina in the small blind and uh, Ronan in the big blind. Ronan says he got into poker by staying up half the night to watch uh, Poker Night Live. He actually says late night poker. I've said it's Poker Night Live. Good man, Ronan, yourself. Now, Christoph, when he's had chips, has been aggressive. He's going to sit on them for a while, though. Uh, sorry, flat call. Check. Tina is checking and flat calling. Ronan's got a, a bad hand, but it could be a beautiful yeah, hand after this. <laughs> well, now, will Ronan think... No, he passes straight away. Interesting. I thought he might uh, suspect he had the best hand, though. Tina didn't raise before the flop. He would have suspected she would have done with an ace. <coughs> so she takes that one down. Our only lady representative here. Let's see if she can uh, leave the men trailing in her wake. I just realised I just said lady representative. Don't even know what that means. Pass. 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 Greg with the A7. Raise 4,000 total. Raising Pass. from the button. And uh, giving Lars a tricky decision. We haven't seen much of Lars. Now he's got the a6 suited. He'll think he's ahead of Gregor's range, but he doesn't want to commit all of his chips. And we can see it's actually a decent decision. Had one of the uh, the worst hands in that spot. A6 versus the a7. And one for Greg. To remind you, this is a winner-takes-all tournament. 
So these players may just as well be knocked out next as knocked out in second. Worth them taking some risks as the blinds uh, get higher because the play has been reasonably tight and the heat is there for the winning. Raised to 2,000. Well, Ronan can clearly hear me. <coughs> He's going to try and take down the blind of this 10-8. And Lars, who passed the 8-6, must have picked up on something there. It feels like he has the best hand, and we can see he's right. Now, is Ronan committed here? There's now a decent amount of money in the pot. Yeah, and he doesn't think about it too long. Six free total. Ronan calls. Lars is all in. Lars is ahead, but not by a huge amount. This is about a 60-40 situation. Quick tip if you ever commentate on a poker tournament. Most of them are 60-40 situations. Lars will need this ace to stand up. Otherwise, he's going to be out. Decent flop for him. That's even better. Lars is going to double up here. And he does. Big pot uh, for Lars. And that's the problem with stealing the blinds when they're this big. Ronan uh, made a move with the 10-8, but then when uh, Lars re-raised with the short stack, he was committed. And uh, he's ended up putting a lot of chips with a mediocre hand. But good news for Lars. He's uh, back in. it, And picks up an ace-queen for his trouble. Always nice to pick up a legitimate hand on the button. The other players may think that he's uh, trying to steal. Raised to 3,500. Every time the action gets to Kristoff, you can sense he wants to play, wants to make a move. Thinks better of it with the Jack Six. Tina's wondering if her ace is best here. Uh, she makes a good lay down, and uh, Lars will pick up another one. He is on a roll. Well, John Donnelly lost that uh, race with Christoph, left him a little bit short stacked, and eight's more than good enough for him to commit his chips. Christoph doesn't want to uh, run into another big hand of John's. Ronan with the decision. He's uh, shown a willingness to throw chips around left and right. He's not about to stop now. John will need these eights to uh, hold up. Another pair versus over card situation. Eights with a slight edge. John needs to win it to stay alive. Uh, no help for Ronan. This will leave him crippled if he loses this. Oh, and there's an eight to uh, cement it, but a nine would get Ronan out. Right. No nine, <laughs> three eight stand up and John breathes a sigh of relief. Have a seat. Well, that's uh, breathed new life into John's chances. You've got to win your coin flips. Queens for Lars. He's picked up some hands. But they all have. I mean, he's picked up some good hands, is what I'm saying, essentially. Raised to 3,000. 3,000, he says. The blinds are 500 and 1,000, so that's a pretty standard raise. 3,000. Pass. 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 And Ronan's going to commit with 9-8 suited. He's not going to like what he sees from Lars, but... Uh, 
as we've already seen from Ronan, he's not going to sit around and let his chips dwindle away. He wants to uh, try and make this uh, make this competition his own rather than being short stacked. But he's run into a monster here. Ronan's got about uh, an 18, 19% chance of cracking this over pair. Lars is in a dominant position. He's got a heart as well, which helps him a little bit. And actually, the queen's blocked some of the straight, so it's not good for Ronan this. And no help there. He now needs a miracle. Running hearts, running nines, running eights, running away from the table, Ronan is, I'm afraid. All over for him. Lars, the Terminator from Denmark, knocks out Ronan. He's going to be our sixth place finisher. It's going very well up until uh, about 20 minutes ago. I, I suppose I saw myself, I was I was probably the chip leader and I went heads up against a couple of small stacks and it didn't work out for me. Um, so unfortunately my chips dwindled and I found myself short stacked and I, I just felt I had to go all in uh, with, with the, the hands that I was dealt, you know. So it didn't work out too good in the end, but it's been a fantastic experience and uh, it's, it's one I'll certainly learn from. I'll probably play more live poker. I, I've, I've, I really only play on the internet, uh, so I'll have to find a few small tournaments in Dublin that I can get my teeth into and maybe gain that bit more experience. How quickly it changes. Ronan McLaughlin has gone from hero to zero. He was our chip leader. Sadly now out in sixth. Not a good day for the Irish. They finished seventh and sixth. Still all to play for with Christoph Zajak, the leader at the moment. But remember, this is winner takes all. We'll be back soon with more from the Paddy Power Battle of the Mags.